The car was totally engulfed in uh, flames, and the smoke was really thick and heavy, and um, that was also what was hindering me. Michael Casey says he didn't set out to be a hero. It just happened. I was on the ladder, scraping the paint off the house, and I heard a thud, and I saw, I turned around, and I saw a car go right through my neighbor's yard, and it landed against that tree over there, and um, so I went in the house, called 911. The 87-year-old woman was coming from this direction when she lost control of her car, came careening through this backyard, narrowly missing that boat trailer before her car burst into flames. With the fire trapping Jane Butler inside the Chevy, Casey knew he couldn't wait for the fire department and had to do something. I tried to make contact with the driver, and it was a woman sitting in a car with her hands on the steering wheel, just looking straight ahead. She didn't acknowledge me whatsoever, so I ran over to the wood pile in the backyard, grabbed a piece of slate, and started throwing that against the back uh, window. It wouldn't break. I went into the cellar, grabbed that hammer, actually, and was banging on the back window. It broke. I unlocked the door. Casey says he pulled Butler out with just seconds to spare. Her son came to thank him. Said there was, like, she didn't have a scratch on her or anything like that. I couldn't forgive myself if I just did nothing.